Would you believe me if I told you that this latte was made from an espresso machine that cost no more than 2,500 pesos? Yup, you know I'm cheap. It's been almost a year since I bought this from Lazada's 1111 sale, and I wanted to share with you how it's been holding up. Is this cheap machine any good? Let's find out. Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing this espresso maker that I bought from Lazada over a year ago. Now I bought this because I was trying to find the cheapest espresso maker that you could find out there. I was quite surprised to find an espresso maker under 100 US dollars or 5,000 pesos. So I wanted to see if this in fact could be considered as a good espresso maker. Before anything, I wanted to let you know that my knowledge of coffee and coffee making are very basic. I've never operated an espresso machine before this, so I wouldn't say that my standards would be picky. I wanted to make sure that I would get an espresso machine that I can operate with no training needed. You see this machine is very sleek and with minimal functions, you can't mess it up. Today I'll be using medium roast arabica beans. These look pricey but trust me, they are priced quite competitively even with free delivery. Link will be posted below. While you can always have your beans ground where you buy them, I like to grind my beans only when I'm about to use them to keep freshness. I've been using this generic food grinder for a few years now, but coffee purists would actually recommend a coffee grinder where you can specify granularity. But for my needs, I'm happy to use this food grinder. And yes, the grinder does come sold separately. The machine does include this measuring spoon slash tamper. It's obviously not the best tamper since it's flimsy and tends to give you an uneven compression of your coffee grounds. The porta filter does include measuring lines which are helpful. Once you're happy with your compressed grounds, you can load it onto the machine which I guess is pretty standard. Place fresh water into the opening on the top and twist back tightly to close. You're all set! As mentioned, the few available functions mean that you can't mess it up. Twist all the way to the right for the extraction process. While I don't have first-hand experience working with other espresso machines, what I do notice is the difference of the flow of the extracted coffee. For more expensive machines, the flow is smooth and steady, while here it's more typical to see the liquid splatter. Now that you've got your espresso, you have a world of espresso-based drinks available at your disposal. Hot or cold, mixed with water or whatever type of milk you prefer, you've got a long list of coffee shop favorites that you're now welcome to make yourself. For today, we'll be using the built-in milk frother to make a hot cup of latte. As much as I hope that I could do latte art, this is unfortunately a skill that evades me now. My art is just a blank canvas. <laughs> if there's one thing I dislike about this machine, it would be how hard it is to clean its base where the liquids drop into. My fingers won't fit so you'd need a swab to clean this properly. Hey guys, so what can you say? Is this latte worth it for 2,500 pesos? From what I've observed is that the extraction process on the coffee to, to espresso is not as pure as it can be. So the crema uh, that builds on top of the espresso is not as thick as you would for the more fancy, the more reputable machines you have out there. And because the crema is not as defined, um, you can't really make latte art but maybe it's the granularity of the beans um, when, I, when I ground it. I've never been successful whatsoever in being able to make some latte art. But as you can see, this for me personally, this would be a decent latte, especially for the price. I think if you're not a coffee snob and you just want to improve your coffee experience at home, you just want to have espresso-based drinks, then this 2,500 peso machine from Lazada that's branded by Sweet Alice. I don't know what Sweet Alice is. 
I quickly checked Lazada and while they're no longer carrying the Sweet Alice brand, they're selling the machine under different brands now. I guess that's China OEM for you. The good thing is you can even get it now for under 2,000 pesos. Um, it seems like it's worth it because you, know, you, can, you can definitely move up your coffee game. This has saved me from this months of quarantine being stuck here. You know, um, this is the go-to coffee that I've been digging. So cheers! I'm happy with that. <laughs>